what is going on my friends back again with another video this one is more of kind of like a useful trick a useful tip for you guys and i want to throw on the screen real quick two video ideas that i've had let me know in the comment section which one you guys would like to see next those are two tutorials i'm really excited about making because i think they're going to be really awesome really cool new stuff for you guys anyways today what we're going to be talking about is how to create good looking slow motion with footage that isn't high frame rate so if you guys are new here consider subscribing join the community leave a like if you guys do enjoy the content it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount anyways guys let's get right into this awesome trick so if you guys know anything about slow motion with cameras it really depends on the frame rate it's not so much an effect i think that's a big misconception that a lot of people have some people think that you can just add a slow motion effect and it'll be slow motion it's about the frame rate of your camera so you can change your frame rates within your camera options you can see what the frame rate is of the footage if you just hover over here in your project bin we have some 24 frames per second footage and then we also have some 119 frames per second footage so i shot this one in a higher frame rate so that i can apply that nice crispy slow motion and this one was shot normally to kind of that normal looking motion normal cinematic kind of feel but there is a way that you can get smooth slow motion with this clip even if it's not a high frame rate so here we have our clip right here like i said 24 frames per second and a 24 frames per second timeline play that and we're going to make this part slow motion what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and we're going to go to speed duration and this is where you can usually change it down you can slow it down so let's go ahead and just make this 50 just to show you what it looks like normally if we slow down footage that isn't at a higher frame rate as you can see it's super choppy because it's being slowed down and like i said 24 frames per second if you think of a frame as just a picture if you click frame by frame you'll see what it looks like here there's 24 strung out pictures in one second in the 119 frames per second you can slow that down because there's more pictures within that second of video so i'll slow this down to 50 percent and you will play that and as you can see nice smooth slow motion because this is higher frame rate so let's go back here and let's fix this so this one little trick is going to help you guys out a lot let's go to speed duration and now all we need to do is change the time interpolation from frame sampling and optical flow and just to make it a little bit better usually i'll just make the speed 60 instead of 50 and then let's go ahead and play that out and it might still look a little bit choppy at first as you can see so what you'll need to do is just click on here go up to sequence and then click render selection and this is what it looks like as you guys can see looks like nice smooth slow motion and there's actually a pretty good similarity between this footage which is 23 with optical flow and then this footage which is already 119 slowed down so that is a super good trick and i also want to teach you guys a few little more things to go along with this so for one, this isn't gonna work all the time. If there's a huge amount of motion, you're gonna see some warping with the optical flow. So only try and use this method when it's normal motion. You could always try it out. And it's definitely a good thing to know because if you did shoot something in 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, and you wanna slow it down, you can use this method and you can still have that nice crisp slow motion. And I also wanna show you guys, this optical flow technique can help you out with your slow-mo clips as well. So like I said, this is my 120 frames per second footage. This is, this I already shot and set up to be used in slow motion later on let me just show you one more time as you can see right there it says 119.88 so say we want to make this super slow down and I and I showed a little snippet of this in my last tutorial the suspended raindrops tutorial but what you can do is right click go up to speed duration and then we can change this even lower so let's make this 20% and we want this like super slow down since this is a high frame rate clip we can make this super slow down turn on that optical flow and it's gonna be insanely nice slowed down and smooth so that's how you can get like ultra slow motion if you do shoot in a higher frame rate. I recommend you only do this if you're shooting at 60 frames and above. If you do want to go down to like the speed of 20, you can even get away with like a speed of 10, something like that. As you can see, it looks like super slow down. If it does look a little choppy at first, make sure you click sequence, render that selection so you can see what it really looks like. Because sometimes you'll, your computer will because sometimes your computer will need to process it first before you can really see. And just look at that. It looks really awesome with that super slowed down footage. So use that to your advantage, guys. Just a quick little tip video for you guys today. Tomorrow we're returning some with some really cool stuff. Make sure you guys comment below what you'd like to see. Also, I have two new packs dropping for you guys. Free pack is on the way, so make sure you guys stay tuned. If you enjoy the videos, consider subscribing, join the community. Leave a like if you do enjoy the content. It helps the growth of this channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys later.